Hey guys, welcome back to Sudoku Maniacs. Now today we have a classic Sudoku for you. And this Sudoku was hosted on our website on the 7th of October, two days back. Now for obviously for some of the top players in the world, this would be on the easier scale. But for most of the people, this was on the medium to high difficulty level. And again, we have received a request to highlight what was the best way to go ahead with this. Now, let me tell you, when we talk about a medium to difficult level Sudoku, classic especially, it does not mean that it has to use some kind of a very high-end technique like XYZ wing, this wing, that wing or anything of that sort. Sometimes basic pairs, triplets and quads for that matter which are not very clearly evident in the while you're solving the puzzle. So they might be hidden amongst the other digits which make it very difficult to spot these triplets or quads or pairs, you know. And that's when people start thinking that this might be a, what do you say, a difficult Sudoku. So I thought why not present the walkthrough where you will notice that you actually don't require any high-end technique even for some of the difficult puzzles as long as you're able to identify these pairs and triplets as we speak about. I have mentioned the link to solve this online in the description of the video. So you can also go ahead and try to solve it on your own, on your own if you wish to. So let's begin. Now the first thing, 2, 2, okay, this cannot be a 2, so this would be a 2, 9 cannot be here, 9 cannot be here, so this is a 9, 2 cannot be in this, so the 2 is locked here, and the 4s, okay, so this would make a pair of 2 and a 4, right, what next, 8, 9, 9, 9, so this would be a 9, Nine, nine. So the nine is locked here. So just put the mark. Two is locked here. So the two would get locked here for box seven. Now the one is locked here. Five. So the five is here. Okay, oh, 9 cannot be here, it cannot be here. So this has to be a 9, which makes this a 5. Oops, how stupid of me. We already have a 9 in the box. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sometimes I get ahead of myself. So we'll leave the pencil marks of the 5 there. My bad, sorry about that. The 1 of box 6 is locked here. So this will have to be a 1, which means 3, this is a 3, 8. 3, 7, 8. Hmm. What are we missing out? Okay, 6 cannot be here, 6 cannot be here. So the 6 is locked here, which makes this a 6. The 1 is locked here. The 8 cannot be here, it can't be here. So the 8 is here, here, and here. 5. Five. Okay. Now we know that the 1, 5, and 8 cannot be in these three cells, right? And they cannot be here as well. Which means this three cells here in row 8 forms a triplet on 1, 5, and 8. Correct? So if 3 is not here, 3 is not here, this has to be a 3 and a 3. So what do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4 is possible, 5, 6 is possible, 7, 8. So this is a 4, 6. Mm. Okay. Good. How does that help us? So this should be what? 2, 3, 4 and 6. 
2, 3 is not here, this is 4, 6. So this would be a 3, 6. This would be a 2, 3, 4. 2, 4. Alright. Oh, we got a pair of 2 and 4. Correct, because 6 cannot be here since the 6 is locked in column 5. So with the remaining 3 digits are 1, 6, and 7. So this has to be 1, 7. 1, 6. 167 167 hmm interesting this would be 1 2 3 is locked here so the 3 can't be here 4 is possible 5 6 7 and 8 Now there is a uniqueness technique that we can use, but I don't want to go in that direction, you know. I want it to be solved by proper methodology of using these. So, nine here. Oh, just like this one, five and eight. Nine, five, six and nine, right? They cannot be in these three. Five, six and nine cannot be here. So there are only three places left. So this has to be 569, 59, 569. Correct? So this 387 will have to be 387 here. 1378, that's 17. But how does this help us? Okay, this is a pair of 29, since we got this 9 here. So since this is 58158, the 3 has to be in one of these two, which means 3 cannot be here. It cannot be here, so that's our 3 here. So 3 gets locked here. So this would be 178. Hmm. Now the 6 cannot be here in these two, so the 6 is locked in column 7 for box 9 which makes this a 5, 9, 5, 9, and we get a pair on 5 and 9 in row 2. So this becomes a 6. So that's the 6 and that's the 6. This is 7 by the classic rule. Right? Which means so 5, 4, 6, 8, 3 is in the... So the 2 also has to be here along with the 9 which occupies these 3 hmm. two five nine, two five nine. okay so 5 is in these 2 makes this a 3 8 1 3 8 So this would be a 6 and a 7, right? To wrap up the box. Okay, 6, 7, 4, 6. And this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. This would be a 7 and a 9. Hmm. Interesting. Again, as I said, I can simply use the uniqueness rule to solve it fast. You know, I would definitely do that if I was showcasing the speed solving methods. But I wanted to show how we were using these triplets and quads. So if this is a 2, 4, 3, 5, 6, oh, 6, 6, this is not a 6, so this will be a 6, 3, 8, 3, 5, 8, so 3, 5, 8, 3, 5, 8, this is a 3, 5, 8, 5, 8, this is again a 3, 8, which means the 9 cannot be here, 9 is here, so the 9 also has to be in these two, so this forms a pair of 7, 9. 
we got a 9 here, so that's my 7 and the 9. So this becomes a 6. That leaves 358, 358, 358. Okay. Hmm. Uh, this 3H will obviously be paired here. So this will be an 8, this will be an 8, this 2938. Okay, 5 cannot be here. Five cannot be here, so that's my five. So that becomes a nine. So that's a two and a nine. And this becomes a two. So that's an eight with a three five here. The reason being five and three cannot be here, right? So that's the eight. So this is a three seven. This becomes a nine. Three seven. This is again a three seven. So we got a 3 here, so that's a 7 with a 3, so that's a 3, 3, so that's a 6, 7, 6, 4, 2, 3, 4, so that's a 2 and a 4, I require 1, 7, 8, okay, so this is a 7, this is a 1, 8, 5, 7, 8, hmm, so we got a 8 here, so that's a 1, Seven, eight, three, one. That's a five, eight, five, three. That's my one. So this is a one, six pair because one cannot be here or here because of this. So this is a one, six pair, which makes this a seven, eight, one, which pushes the eight here, the six, six, one. One that's a seven, seven, five, 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 and four. And this was how the Sudoku was supposed to be solved. Now, as I was mentioning, I purposely did not want to use the uniqueness option here. So, for example, we had a two, four, two, four here, and we had a two, four here with a two, three, four, correct. Now, normally when we have these kind of pairings, and this is a 2-4, assuming this was a 4-7 at that time, if this also becomes a 2-4 option for me, let's ignore this 4-4 four four now, all right? What would happen is it would give us a dual solution because the 2s and the 4s can be interchanged. Our valid Sudoku will never present this kind of a scenario for us. So, since we had this option here, the moment we see this 2-4 pair and a 2-4, we know for sure this cannot be either a 2 or a 4. Because we, if this is a 2, this would become a 4 and we'll have that interchangeable scenario. Hence, in speed solving, you can blindly eliminate the 2 and 4 and add a 3 here. Right? Which would then push the 2 and the 4s in their respective positions. But as I said, this was not a showcase of speed solving or my talents on that. This was more about approaching a tough puzzle also in a very systematic manner, identifying the pairs triplets. And though the puzzle might appear daunting or tough, it's never, what do you say, too hard to achieve a solution there. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do like, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And give this puzzle a shot. As I said, the link is mentioned in the description. Try to solve it on your own. And we'd love to hear back from you on what you thought of the puzzle. So do, leave, do not forget to leave a comment on the video as well. So till the next time, happy solving.